Hey everyone, it's Anna from the For Real YouTube channel. If you're here, you're probably dealing with a bad IMEI or a blacklisted phone. You might have considered using questionable software or paying for a fix. But before you try anything risky, I have great news. There's a safer, better, and completely free way to get your device back in working order. Stick with me and I'll guide you through some reliable steps that work on any phone. Just a quick note, this guide is for those who legally own their device but may have forgotten their access information. We do not support or promote any illegal activities such as unlocking stolen devices. Always stay within the law and respect others' rights. This video complies with YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now, let's dive in. Now let's talk about some services that offer to remove a blacklisted IMEI. You might have heard of Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It's fast, totally free, and very reliable. Then there's Safe Unlocks, a well-established service that offers solid help for just a dollar. And if you need something more specialized, ESN Doctor is known for specifically handling IMEI blacklists. While these services are excellent, knowing how to use them properly will ensure the best results. Next, I'll show you how to make the most of Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant to get your device back up and running. First, open your browser on your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com to remove the blacklist from your IMEI. Once the site loads, you'll find Nifty, an AI tool developed by the Unlock Here team. Scroll down a bit and select the Fix IMEI Blacklist option. Follow the app's instructions, starting by choosing your device's brand. Whether it's a well-known or lesser-known brand, the app supports most devices. Next, enter your IMEI or serial number. If you're unsure where to find it, simply dial star hashtag 06 hashtag on your phone, and a pop-up will display all your device details, including the IMEI number. Then, provide your name and email address for contact purposes, and agree to the app's terms and conditions. If you have questions, the site offers resources to help. After your request is processed, you'll receive an email with your unlock details, usually within 5 to 15 minutes. Don't forget to check your spam or promotions folder. Once you receive the email, copy the verification code, return to the site, and click Confirm IME I Unlock. Paste the code, complete the CAPTCHA, and press Validate Info and Start Unlock. Nifty will finish the unlocking process. And that's it. Nifty, the AI-powered tool, does the heavy lifting from here. The final step is to simply insert a compatible SIM card and restart your device. This process is just a few steps, and before you know it, you'll have successfully removed the blacklist IMEI from your device using unlockhere.com. Please note that these unlocking services primarily work in first world countries. If you're unable to access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 free unlocks every week for our viewers. To enter, just like this video, subscribe, and comment with your phone model, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've done that, you're automatically entered into the giveaway. All right, guys, here are some more alternative ways to remove an IMEI blacklist from your device. First up, contact your carrier. Sometimes the simplest solution is the best one. Reach out to your carrier and explain your situation. If you provide proof that you own the device, like a receipt or any document that shows you're the legitimate owner, they might be able to help you out. If your device was reported lost or stolen and you've managed to recover it, letting the carrier know can sometimes get it removed from the blacklist. Another thing to keep in mind is to check your IMEI status regularly. Blacklists can be updated, and in some cases, devices are removed for various reasons. Using online IMEI status checkers can help you stay on top of your device's status. Lastly, if your device was blacklisted by mistake and you're hitting a wall with the carrier, you might want to consider legal action. This should definitely be your last resort since it can be costly and time consuming, but it's an option if all else fails. Thanks for watching. If this helped you or if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next